this evening. First, telling residents to cry poor roads. City Hall gives the market a clean sweep. Ganja debate fires up across the Caribbean in the region. Maduro wins second term amid claims of boat rigging. And internationally, U.S. and China call a truce to a looming trade war. From Safety TV headquarters in South Rival Gardens, this is Safety TV Headline News with George Gonzalez. Today is Monday, May the 21st, 2018, and this edition of Headline News is now being streamed live on our Facebook channel and our YouTube page. Thank you for joining us. Independence Day is Saturday. In preparation for the big day, the MNCC is cleaning the streets of Georgetown. On Sunday, the capital city seemingly became a ghost town. Shops from Regent Street to Starbrook Market closed for business. Fortunately, it was for a good reason. On that day, the mayor and city council began a large-scale cleanup exercise of downtown Georgetown, just in time for Independence Day. The operation centered on Starbrook Market, Lacey Town, and Borda, from King Street to Albert Street, running east to west, and from South Road to Rob Street, running north to south. It began at 7 a.m. and concluded at 4 p.m. the same day. The area was initially chosen after an assessment carried out indicated an increase in clogging of drains and overgrowth in alleyways and parapets. During the cleanup period, vendors were asked not to ply their trade during that time. Despite the loss of revenue, the vendors complied with the request for the most part. Additionally, some vendors took the time to join the cleanup effort by tidying up the storefronts and drains adjacent to their establishments. A lack of proper drainage in the East Bank community of Herstelling has caused major damage to the village's roads. Esther Sober spoke to the residents and filed this report. Every person wants good roads, proper drainage, and good neighbors in their community. However, these things are not always possible. In response, residents use social media to highlight the issues they face daily in their communities, with hope of the relevant people finding solutions. Recently, residents of Herstel in 2nd Street opted to publish the conditions of their roads along with other issues. Well, the road is very bad and I have a business here. And the water affects me a lot when the, when the rain falls. And I like something to do about it. Tell them how you have to make Yes, I had to spend a lot of money last year, Christmas, about $300,000 to save my business. Have you spoken to any the chairman of this community? Well, and you spoke to them, they said they're not looking to it, and nobody don't want nobody they coming to do nothing. Whilst listening to the plight of the residents, it was observed that the community had insufficient drainage. Drains were not dug by the NDC, but rather a few residents. No, no, it's on the It's running in my yard. I have tenants. Sometimes I got to go heavy tenants clean because the water, after when it flow, 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 and the rain fall heavy, it's going inside the people in house and they try their, their thing. Where will the water end? Oh. Where will the water go? Yeah. Seeking answers to the many questions of the residents, a visit was made to the office of the Little Diamond Neighborhood Democratic Council. According to the chairman of Little Diamond NDC, Mr. Singh, a contract to build the road was awarded this year, but the contract needed further amending to facilitate proper road fixtures. However, an ongoing discussion is in process to have the road works being fixed sometime later this year. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks, Esther. Recently, Central Seventh-day Adventist Church played host to the Interreligious Liberty Conference. Wendell Jeffrey was there and filed this report. Sabbath afternoon, the Seventh-day Adventist Church brought a culmination, the week-long program. It began last Wednesday under the theme Peaceful Coexistence. It's a religious liberty conference, and the opening presenter was none other than His Excellency David Granger, and here are some excerpts from his speech. It's religions, Christianity, the Baha'i faith, 
Hinduism, Islam, and the well-known traditional faiths, Santeria, Voodoo, Vinti, Rastafarianism, are diverse. President Granger remarked that the concept of interfaith, ethnic, and national harmony are not new to him, as it was he who appointed Guyana's first Minister of Social Cohesion. I appointed a Minister of Social Cohesion when I entered office in May 2015. I did this because I believe that social cohesion is a vital means through which we can weld our plural societies and through which we can pursue the common good. Pastors, church administrators, and part finders participated in a 10-mile march around the city of Georgetown. They chanted as they bore placards with messages of religious tolerance and gender equality. There was also a number of presentations brought by the different religious groups from across the country. Religions must pool their wisdom and combine their energies and work diligently to build the ideal world. They must forget the past struggles filled with hatred and work out peaceful solutions. This topic, peaceful coexistence, the challenge of diversity in the 21st century, is worth exploring during our time here, and hopefully uh, provide a, we'll be able to provide a framework for influencing personal, professional, and political changes in the short, medium, and long terms. It appears that our world is growing more tolerant, and at the same time, more intolerant. But in the midst of this conundrum, as God's people, we have a very special message to share. We can coexist peacefully, we can coexist in love and in unity. And what the best place to come to see that happen is right here in Guyana. Six races living together as one. One people, one nation, one destiny. Thanks, Wendell. Don't go away. Coming up after the break. Ganja debate fires up across the Caribbean and today's edition of Crime and Punishment. But first, here's today's foreign currency exchange rate. For the latest in news from Guyana, the region, and beyond, visit our website, headlinenewsguyana.com. It's always fresh, tasty, enticing, and the best in town. Serve hot from our experienced chefs. Come and enjoy our daily meals with a wide and delicious menu to choose from. Also a wide variety of pastries and dessert. We can also host your luncheons, cocktails, parties and formal gathering. For reservation call 225-1730, 225-0038 and delivery 225-0195 or 225-0159. The new thriving Chinese restaurant, 32 Main Street, Georgetown. For all your floor covering needs, Kisoon's has you covered. From wall to wall carpets, runners, Rugs in all sizes and designs, mats for all entranceways, vinyl and rubber tiles too. And with our vast stock and knowledge, you're guaranteed to find your floor covering solution with us. We provide free estimates and the dimension we install too. Like I said, we've got you covered. Kisoon's Furniture, furnishing homes for over 60 years. The Ministry of Public Health presents Health Expo 2018 under the theme Reaching for a Better Life with Good Health. Starting Wednesday, May 30th to Saturday, June 2nd at the Sophia Exhibition Center. Catch the big opening night ceremony on Wednesday 30th from 17 hours and gates open from 15 hours to 22 hours daily except on Friday, June 1st at 10 a.m. for school children. Enjoy free medical and dental checkups, blood pressure and diabetes testing, nutrition counseling and many more. Admission is absolutely free and the entire family is invited. Don't miss out.
Need a ride around town and beyond? Look no further than Oasis Ride Taxi Service. With affordable prices and some of the best drivers in the business, we've been delivering prompt and reliable service to Guyana for over 16 years. We also offer tours, chauffeur service, and even car rentals. You can call us at 231-5554 or 225-5494. 5496. For deals, specials, and more information, find our page on Facebook. Always just ride taxi service. Let's go. The Big King you love just chickened out. Introducing the new Chicken Big King with two crispy chicken patties and our signature king sauce. The new Chicken Big King, now part of our Burger King favorites. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Mom, what are you doing with GPL on your list? Child, you forgot I have to pay GPL? You got time with GPL? I have to keep these lights on. The customers who think in that manner and refuse to honor their obligation to GPL are obviously not playing their part in ensuring quality service delivery. So, I will continue to pay my GPL bill on time every time i recognize the value of your point mom you were right welcome back princess street and lodge is finally getting a makeover courtesy of the ministry of public infrastructure over the weekend, the Ministry of Public Infrastructure began rehabilitative works on Princess Street in Lodge. Years of heavy traffic on the strip of road, coupled with a period of heavy rainfall, has caused approximately 153 meters of the road to slide into the adjacent canal. According to the Ministry of Public Infrastructure foreman, Marlon McRae, the emergency repairs were critical. Actually, we scarifying, looking for any Mud, if any mud come up anywhere or just because of the drain don't have no proper shoulder make it slippery so we scarifying and in about four inches across the run paving about two inches as far comp compacted two inches as far and we're hoping to finish it all goes well by sunday because of the emergency we don't want to inconvenient people for too long as of today the freshly rehabilitated road between flesingen and haley streets is open to traffic the debate regarding marijuana legalization is burning up across the Caribbean and North America. But in this report, Wendell Jeffrey tells us that Guyana's Attorney General is not too excited to free the weed. As the Ganji debate lights up across the Caribbean, Barbados seems set on getting high on the political and economic benefits associated with legalizing cannabis sativa, otherwise called marijuana. As the election day draws near in Barbados, the electorate have been handed the chance of voting for a party, the Barbados Labour Party, which promises to legalize marijuana for medical reasons. Last Friday night, the Barbados Labour Party candidate for Christchurch East Central, Ryan Strong, told a gathering of young people that over the last 10 years, the Democratic Labour Party government did nothing for them. Strawn said that legalizing ganja for medical use in Barbados would open several economic opportunities for young people as well as it will significantly benefit the Bajan economy. At a press conference last week, Attorney General and Legal Affairs Minister Basil Williams said that legalizing ganja in Guyana should be done only after a white cross section of the populace are satisfied with it. The Legal Affairs Minister said that there are studies which show that marijuana is very dangerous and has many negative effects on the users. In related news, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio on Friday told the New York Police Department to stop arresting people who are caught smoking marijuana in public. Laws are now being drafted to implement the mayor's requests in the next 30 days. For Channel 2 Headline News, Wendell Jeffrey. Thanks, Wendell. Esther Sobers brings us the major cases to hit the Georgetown and Linden Magistrates Court in today's edition of Crime and Punishment. 
David Alexander of Hatfield Street Lodge appeared before Magistrate Judy Lodgman on Monday. He was slapped with two charges of armed robbery and a charge of escaping police custody. He's accused of robbing Junior Hassim of $5,000 cash on May 19, 2018. It is further alleged that on the same date, he robbed Johnny Lohan a cell phone. He pleaded not guilty to the charges. The 32-year-old man reportedly murdered his ex-girlfriend's reputed husband on May 10, 2018, was on Monday morning arraigned at the Linden Magistrate Court before Magistrate Clive Nurse. Coring Arthur called cross of Lot 88 Cinderella City, Amelia's Ward, Linden, was not required to plead to the indictable murder charge and was remanded to prison until June 21, 2018. 27-year-old Carl Mangal broke down in tears after being sentenced to three years in prison and fined $30,000. The father of three was arrested last Friday after police found the marijuana in his Princess Street home in Ziploc bags. The lawmen had gone to the house after receiving a tip-off. After the three years jail sentence was handed down in court today, with tears in his eyes, Mangal begged Magistrate Dewey Lodgman for leniency and told her that he was willing to do any form of community service. His pleas were not effective on the decision. And finally, 18-year-old Daniel Prince and 21-year-old Dovana Richardson admitted that on May 15, 2018, they robbed Osafo Hill of a cell phone of the items totaling $56,000. The victim was walking along Hatfield Street when he was attacked. The court heard that Prince and Richardson punched Hill and snatched his cell phone along with other items. They were later arrested by the police with the stolen goods in their possessions. They were sentenced to four years, six months imprisonment for the offense of robbery. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks, Esther. Coming up after the break. Maduro wins a second term amid claims of vote rigging, and U.S. and China call truce to looming trade war. Stay with us. You know, a tire telling you, stop teeth electricity. Shh. Don't shush me. You're going to kill yourself and burn down people out. Stop a telling you, stop. This man don't hear you know. Hi, ya go. Look, I fed up with this stupidness, eh? I going to fix this one here once and for all. Hello, hello, GPL. Hey now, I got a big problem wrong here. They got this chap who continuing to do it. All right, Skipper, you are under arrest for stealing the electricity. Are we gonna live now? People, stealing electricity is dangerous to life and property, and it is also against the law. The Big King you love just chickened out. Introducing the new Chicken Big King with two crispy chicken patties and our signature king sauce. The new Chicken Big King, now part of our Burger King favorites. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. It's always fresh, tasty, enticing, and the best in town. Serve hot from our experienced chefs. Come and enjoy our daily meals with a wide and delicious menu to choose from. Also a wide variety of pastries and dessert. We can also host your luncheons, cocktails, parties and formal gathering. For a reservation call 225-1730, 225-0038 and delivery 225-0195 or 225-0159. The new thriving Chinese restaurant, 32 Main Street, Georgetown. For all your floor covering needs, Kisoon's has you covered, from wall-to-wall -wall carpets, runners, 
rugs in all sizes and designs, mats for all entranceways, vinyl and rubber tiles too. And with our vast stock and knowledge, you're guaranteed to find your floor covering solution with us. We provide free estimates, and did I mention we install too? Like I said, we've got you covered. Kisoon's Furniture, furnishing homes for over 60 years. The Ministry of Public Health presents Health, health Expo 2018, 2018 under the theme Reaching for a Better Life with Good Health. Starting Wednesday, May 30th to Saturday, June 2nd at the Sophia Exhibition Center. Catch the big opening night ceremony on Wednesday 30th from 17 hours and gates open from 15 hours to 22 hours daily except on Friday, June 1st at 10 a.m. for school children. Enjoy free medical and dental checkups, blood pressure and diabetes testing, nutrition counseling and many more. Admission is absolutely free and the entire Each family is invited. Don't life. miss out. Welcome back. Bibi Bacchus brings us the regional and international headlines of the day. Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro has been re-elected to another six-year term in office. Just 46% of the electorate turned out to vote. The main opposition candidate, Harry Falcon rejected the results soon after the polls were closed. We do not recognize this electoral process as valid. We have to have new elections in Venezuela. He says the election results was not surprising to most persons as Maduro has long been accused of rigging the votes. Cuban officials says they have found one of two black boxes from a plane that crashed near Havana Airport, killing more than 100 people. The official death toll stands at 111 people, including 11 foreigners. Three women survived the crash, but are said to be in a critical condition with serious burns. Official says the black box will hold key flight data and information about what happened to the plane. It's too early to declare the cause of the accident as of yet. And in international news, Three people were killed and over 8,000 affected as heavy rains and strong winds lashed Sri Lanka on Sunday. The three deaths were reportedly caused by lightning. At least 252 people had been evacuated to safer locations since last week, while over 200 houses were partially or fully damaged. Sri Lanka is facing its annual southwest monsoons. The Meteorological Department warns of more rains across the country in the coming days. And finally, yesterday, China and the U.S. struck a deal under which Beijing will significantly increase its purchases of American goods and services to reduce the $375 billion trade deficit with Washington. After a lengthy second round of talks in Washington, the two sides issued a joint statement early yesterday vowing not to launch a trade war against each other. The move is expected to support growth and employment in the United States. Reporting for Channel 2 Headline News, Bibi Bacchus. Thanks, Bibi. Now for your seven-day weather forecast and bridge retraction schedule.
And that's Channel 2 Headline News for this Monday evening. As we take our leave, we invite you to find Channel 2 Headline News on Facebook, YouTube, and our website, headlinenewsguyana.com. You can also tune in tomorrow morning at 6.30 for a rebroadcast, and Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock for more news. For now, I'm George Linzal, signing out from this newscast, saying thank you for welcome us into your homes, and do have a blessed evening. Ministry of Public Health presents Health Expo 2018 under the theme Reaching for a Better Life with Good Health. Starting Wednesday, May 30th to Saturday, June 2nd at the Sapphire Exhibition Center. Catch the big opening night ceremony on Wednesday 30th from 17 hours and gates open from 15 hours to 22 hours daily except on Friday, June 1st at 10 a.m. for school children. Enjoy free medical and dental checkups, blood pressure and diabetes testing, nutrition counseling and many more. Admission is absolutely free and the entire family is invited. Don't miss out.